the librarian here. I'm laughing because I've, this is like the third take because these little Outlook prompts and, and updates keep showing up. So when we're in Canvas and we've never opened up course materials for the first time, how do we plan out a new semester in a new course? It's actually pretty fun. Um, I'll show you in another video how to edit an existing one. Uh, but when you click on it the first time, there's a couple options. Um, you can create a reading list from scratch. You can grab something uh, from similar courses. I may have one saved. Um, and you can look at um, existing courses. The created by scratch is wonderful if you're starting out clean because um, you can call it, you know, whatever, whatever you want, whatever description you have. This is what students would see. But when you click create, it's embedding all the metadata of your course that you're currently in into the reading lists and it talks to the library catalog in that way and so it populates um, and everyone's kind of on the same uh, metadata page as it were. If you look at semesters we typically go on the 16-week model but you can go custom if you like. Um, the 16-week model gives you empty buckets to put in the reading for each week and you can control the span so you can have it be for one week or you can have it go the whole way. Um, and you can, you know, you can rename everything that you like. And you can add things, um, add items. Every time you go in, there's multiple ways of approaching it. So you can add an item from here, or you can add an item from here, and it'll say, well, what do you want to do? Um, and it'll typically ask you what week you go into. And, you know, this is enough, this is enough to be dangerous, and you can actually probably get um, most of the way past here. So the rest of the videos will be about special problems um, and unique solutions and hopefully tips and tricks and things like that. If you run stuck with anything, email me at dale.larson at utah.edu.